Time to Outcome Requiring Advanced Method, Tutorial 18. For those interested in understanding how courts can be used to evaluate accountable health care, please read Riddles in Accountable Health Care by Aran Bellin, available through Amazon in paperback or Kindle. In the previous example, we showed that you were able to develop a study to look at the time that elapsed from first pneumonia to rehospitalization. And we used both the simple method and the advanced method to demonstrate this. We're now going to give you an example where you must have the advanced method in order to do the study. We're going to look for a situation where a person has the first pneumonia, as they did before, but now we want to have as the target a hospitalization where the death occurs during the hospitalization as we want to look at all those patients, we want to see their first hospitalizations, and we want to only select those patients for whom those hospitalizations had a death. That would be the end point of interest. Keep in mind, the hospitalizations that we're looking at are only the first ones. So we're only looking at the first hospitalization post the initial one, whether there was or was not a death. So we need to build a new analysis definition target. The previous one, it was just 0 to 365 days earliest of a hospitalization. Now we need a more complex outcome event, an outcome event that has a notion of time built into it. Remember again, condition line 1 had the earliest hospitalization 0 to 365 days after the index date. And this analysis definition will have that as condition line 1. However, there'll be a second condition line, and that second condition line will say all death when in the first hospitalization. That we're going to be looking for death that occurred during that first condition line event. We're looking for death now. In the future, we may be looking for cardiac echoes or echo values. We may be looking for white counts. We may be looking for creatinine, either the first or the last one during that time. But in this case, we're looking for death. We don't have to specify earliest of death because there's only one death. So leaving it as all is what we're going to do in this particular case. We'll go now to Looking Glass. So in Looking Glass, in the past, we went directly to Study Designer, and we went to the Advanced Method, and we clicked on the triple button to get us to the Analysis Canvas. I want to do this a little differently to show you that you can go to the Analysis Canvas directly. Notice from the analysis, you have the choice to pick Analysis Canvas, Study Designer, or Event Canvas. When we built our cohorts, we went to Event Canvas first, built our cohorts, and then went to Study Designer. You can similarly go to the Analysis Canvas, build your analysis definitions, and then go to Study Designer. We're going to go to Analysis Canvas first. So here we are in Analysis Canvas, and here we have the old AD that we built, if you recall, the earliest inpatient admission date within 0 to 365 days after the cohort. We're going to take advantage of work we've already done by checking Save As. I'm just going to rename it Dead. Admit first after 0 to 365 Dead. And now I have to add another condition line. So I right click, I add, and my choice is When In. And I'll go over this in just a minute. First we'll put in Dead. And now we'll have the event definition. Now the event definition is death. So let's take a look at what options we have for death at, in Looking Glass. In the drop-down we have death in-house, death Social Security, death Social Security, or in-house date. The Social Security Administration gives you downloads of death every month. And we update our system with that. Unfortunately, November 2011, Social Security decided to de-enrich their data set. It only has 50% of the deaths that they used to have. We know that because we compared the before and after time period where we had the old death tapes. Hopefully this will be fixed in the future, but right now there is a difference in terms of sensitivity to death before and after November 2011 in Social Security. So if you're doing any analysis that covers that time period, you have to be aware of that transition moment. You can look at only death in-house, and that will be consistent across time because that only looks at the deaths that occurred at Montefiore proper. Of note, death in-house has an interesting attribute that only exists for this particular form of death, 
and that is the death certificate. We have death certificate or cause of death attached to every death that's in Montefiore over the last three years. And that's important if you want to look at death certificate cause of death. What the residents send to the Department of Health, we record in our electronic medical record. In this case, we're going to use Social Security or in-house death as the event type. We're going to update and close. And you can see it populate here, Social Security or in-house. Now for the duration. New durational definition will give us the opportunity to give in a calendar date, from this date to that date. We don't want that. What we want is we want to make sure that this event happens during the first line's condition, during the hospital admission. So we're going to want to choose admission first, which is on the analysis definition itself. We also have the capacity to say, no, we want the death to occur not referring to something on the analysis definition canvas, but referring to the cohort itself, as we want this event that we're looking at to have occurred during the cohort's duration. Well, if we're looking at something like a cardiac echo, that's perfectly fine. You can look either at the cardiac echo during this repeat hospitalization, or you can look at the cardiac echo at the first hospitalization. But when you look for death, if you actually find death and require death in the first hospitalization, there won't be any second hospitalization. So it makes no sense to use core collection duration. Instead, we select system duration admit first. And now what we are requiring, when we update and close, we're requiring that a death occur during the first inpatient stay after the original hospitalization. We're going to save and exit. And we notice over here, it appears in the management pane. Now we have completed building our analysis definition, and we can now go to our study designer. In study designer, we're going to open up our pneumonia readmission study. We notice the two methods we used before, TTO admit and the advanced TTO admit that replicated in the advanced method, the simple method information. We notice the two groups, the male discharge and female discharge of pneumonias. And we go to the method tab, and we see the two methods right here. We're going to add an additional method. And that additional method is going to be a time to outcome. And we're going to say repeat admit died. We're going to go to the advanced method, and in the advanced method we're going to, we notice the start flag, we notice the racetrack, we notice the analysis definition choices, we're going to choose the analysis definition choice that we had before, 0 to 365 days, but died in that repeat hospitalization. And now we're going to, oh, we have to change the name of this, died on first readmission. That's really the study we're doing. Died on first readmission, 0, 60, 90, 183, 65 days. And then we run. The first thing we do is we take a look at our target event. We notice that 2.1% of the males have a death in their first hospitalization that occurs after the original hospitalization in that first hospitalization. And 1.3% of the women have that. You take a look at all events, 30 deaths, 24 deaths, patient list. You have the occurred here, which says the event actually happened. And you can just go down this list, or you can export the list, and find those who had at their first hospitalization post the original hospitalization a death. Just as I've used death as an outcome, you can use other outcomes as well. The outcomes you can be cardiac echo, creatinine, white count, first or last during a hospitalization. It's a very powerful tool. You can now build complex outcomes as targets.